Welcome back and ting and ting and ting. I'm Mr. Giant and today we're going to look at 10 top places to visit in Switzerland. 10 top places to visit in Switzerland. All that scenery, all those hopefully castles and thing like that. There's a bird singing outside my window. Gosh, I love that. You know, that's one of the things I miss about the island. The birds singing and thing out there. You don't hear them very often here. But anyway, let's get to this here, man. Top 10 playing places to visit in Switzerland. Let's YouTube and Sim Simmer. What's up, guys? My name is Ryan Shirley, and I just returned from a one week road trip to the beautiful country of yeah. Switzerland. And I want to show you my top 10 favorite places. So we're going to start this video off in the beautiful mountains of Appenzell. Ooh. What I did is I landed in Zurich and I drove an hour to Appenzell. Sure. There's this mountain, it's called Schaeffler Mountain, and it is absolutely beautiful. It reminds me of Seseda in the Italian Dolomites. Ooh. And anyways, to get there, what I did is I took the gondola from Epinalp up. It was about $31 round trip. And then from there, I hiked to Schaeffler. And it took about an hour, and you hike up to this restaurant Ooh. slash lodge. Oh my and, um, goodness! And it's about forty-five dollars a night to stay up there. Uh, me and my buddy Danny, we decided to stay up there. It's pretty awesome, and we were able to film the sunset oh. over this beautiful Schaeffler Mountain. I mean, it was incredible. Like one of the coolest sunsets in my life. Yeah. We were able to whip out the I FPV imagine. drone. It's not as crowded oh, no. as other areas in Switzerland. Okay, I'm adventurous and thing, but no. <laughs> There's no way. How did he get up there? Did he climb up there? That's a brave dude. Uh-uh. I like all that scenery and stuff like that, but no, I'm not... Uh, you see all those uh, selfie mishaps and stuff, that, you know, where people go to get the selfie? No, 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 not this giant. No, no, no. I like the scenery, but I ain't going up there. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Yeah. This no. lodge was awesome. It was $45 a night. And from the viewpoint, you can see three Ooh. countries. You can see Germany, Liechtenstein, and Austria. And I mean, it, it was awesome. So I'd highly recommend you visit here. It is just one of the coolest places ever. If you're not staying in the lodge, make sure you make it back by 7 to the gondola so you can take a ride down. Also in the area, there's a beautiful lake. You can visit one of the most Beautiful restaurants in the world that's located in the side of a freaking cave. I didn't go there because I didn't have time, but if you're in Appenzell, you might as well. So, anyways, that is it for Appenzell. Now, for our second location, we're going to head over to probably the most beautiful place in the world, in my opinion, and it is the beautiful town of Lauterbrunnen. This is a valley of over 75 waterfalls. This is where Authors such as J.R. Tolkien got inspired for like books such as Lord of the Rings. And when you go there, you're going to understand There's because it is just absolutely magical. It's this like little town yeah. nestled in this just valley with tons of waterfalls. It is so green. There's like cows all around and it's just magical. I found this really cool park that had like a ping pong table and just a bunch of cool things right at the base of the waterfall. We walked around. We went to a co-op store to get the Swiss essentials like the chocolate and uh, Coke. And uh, when we just walked around, we had an awesome time. Yeah. I mean, it was just such a magical experience. So if you are in Switzerland, I'd highly recommend you go to Lauterbrunnen. Well, this guy's a daredevil. After Lauterbrunnen, the next day, we made the journey to the top of oh. Europe, to the infamous place of Jungfrau Jock. I think that's how you say it. But anyways, so we woke up way early and we took the train from Lauterbrunnen all the way to Jungfrajok, which is the top of Europe. We bought our tickets. Top Normally, of during the summertime, it's about $240 per person. But if you go in the morning, it is $120 for the early bird special. So I'd highly recommend you do that to save some money. Um, but anyways, it's, it's quite the train ride up the mountains. You make a few stops and then you're gonna go through the mountain um, halfway through the mountain, you're going to make a pit stop, and you'll be able to get out, and you can see the glacier. Ooh. I mean, I've never seen a glacier oh, so close man. up before. There's a lot of mountaineer people that are making a pit stop because they're actually hiking 
across this glacier to reach the top, so I thought that was pretty cool. But anyways, after that pit stop, you're gonna get back on the train and you'll make it up to the top and um, you'll get off and you'll walk through a bunch of tunnels. It was a little bit confusing for me. But anyways, we got up to this, it's called like the Ice Plateau, I think, and uh, we were able to get some really cool shots from there and there was no one there because we were the first people up on the train, so that was awesome. After we went to the top of the Junk Fruit Jack, and we were able to get just awesome views of the whole entire area. <laughs> there was just this really massive oh, glacier. Um, I mean, it was just absolutely phenomenal. There was a lot of people, which, I mean, it's kind of a downer. After that, we were able to walk in the glacier tunnels, and these are just spectacular. It's these tunnels of ice that you're able to walk through, and there's just a lot of ice sculptures. It's just a really surreal experience. I mean, you can also walk around outside. We found some other cool places. There's some other activities such as like tubing and stuff, but uh, yeah, it was just a great time up at Junk for Jock. I bet, I we took bet. the train ride down, we made a little pit stop, and then we headed down to the town called Wangin. And Wangin is right above Lauterbrunnen, and the only way you can get there is you can only take a train or you can walk there because there are no cars allowed in the city. Wangin is great because you are able to get a view of the Lauterbrunnen Valley that you're not really able to get in the town of Lauterbrunnen. Uh, we went up there, beautiful. So I'd highly recommend making a little pit stop in Wangen if you can. I know the tri tickets from Lauterbrunnen are only like seven or ten dollars for the train Look ticket, or you can just hike up. Make sure you go there. So after Wangen, made a. There's some beautiful places here. Like I went to a place uh, in Asheville, uh, South Carolina, I do believe, and uh, there's this rock. I forgot what they call the rock, but anyway, there's this rock up there, and uh, the, I don't know if anybody else you know, have seen this little movie, The Last of the Mohicans, so some of it was filmed there, and you take the steps and you go up, up, and then you have this spectacular view, man. Yeah, now the one thing was a rickety bridge to go over to the rock. No, Rasta ain't doing that at all, boy, <laughs> not me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm scared of heights, you know what I mean? No, I go to high places, I'll go there. But I, I, I'll brave it and go to just for the scenery and, you know, the experience and stuff like that. But I'm not scared of heights, boy. I can't do it to dig it all. can't do it. But, yeah, this is just beautiful, you know. It's a whole different type of beauty compared to here. And that's the beauty of traveling because, you know, it's trees and grass and mountains. But the, 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 the landscape is so different, you know what I mean? It's just cool way down and we drove over to the other valley to the infamous town of Grindelwald. Now Grindelwald is one of my favorite places in Switzerland. What I love about Grindelwald is the view of Mount Eiger. It is like one of the biggest mountains I've ever seen. It is just massive. I was there about two years ago and I hiked to this this really crazy peak. Able to get some of the coolest drone shots I've ever gotten. I was able to get just brilliant views this of Mount Eiger and one. also on the other side there huh. were some really cool lakes I was able to film. So yeah, so I'd highly recommend making a stop at Grindelwald. You won't regret it. After Grindelwald, we headed over to the beautiful lake of Ois Chinesi. Hope I said that right. Located by the city of Kandersdeg. Um, it's about a five mile hike round trip. It's a moderate hike, but it is very steep. You're gonna walk up this road. Once you get to the lake, your mind is gonna be blown. I've never seen a lake with such a big backdrop as this lake. I mean. The mountains surrounding it are so huge. Yeah, me and my buddy Dan, we hadn't showered in days, so we took the opportunity to take a dip in the lake, swim around, and just have a good time. I definitely recommend making a pit stop here. After Lake Oistinesi, we're gonna head over to the west side of Switzerland to the beautiful town of Le Diablere. It's about a two hour car ride from Geneva or about a three hour car ride from Zurich. You'll get to this town and you'll hike to this massive bowl. When I did it, I counted over 15 waterfalls. I mean, it wow. was just blowing my mind. Wow. You hiked to the bowl. I was able to get some beautiful drone shots in the meadow and then I hiked up to the rock and I was able to find my drone around. I actually almost lost my drone here. I was flying it and it ran out of battery and I did an emergency landing and I had no clue where it was at. Surrounding mountains have the highest peak in western Switzerland. So after Le Diable, we're going to head over to the beautiful city of Geneva. Um, this is one of my favorite cities in Switzerland. I had the opportunity to live here for two months about two summers ago when I did an internship with uh, human rights groups. I made videos for them. 
But Geneva is famous for having the United Nations. It's just a really cool place with a lot of action going on. Bucket they place. have the infamous Jet Deu. Basically, it's just this giant fountain that shoots water hundreds of feet up in the air. And it's pretty cool. Lake Geneva is awesome. I used to just go swim and hang out there in the evenings. I, I found a sunken bow I used to always swim to. I also found some cool places. Jump off the bridges into the water. And I mean, it was just a good time. Highly recommend visiting Geneva if you're in the west side of Switzerland. After Geneva, we're gonna head over to one of my favorite cliff jump spots in Switzerland, to Valle Versasca. So Valle Versasca is located just... in the south side of Switzerland, near the town Lugano, which is just bordered Italy. So you're gonna drive this little canyon and you're gonna get to Valle Versasca. And what it is, it's these two bridges overhangs one of the most beautiful rivers I've ever seen. It's probably some of the clearest river water in the realm. I've been there several times. I love jumping off that bridge, doing some, some backflips, and then I also like to go swim in the water. It is freezing cold, but it's super clear, and it's just a rejuvenating oh, experience. Oh, freezing I'd cold, have to no. say Fiber Saska is one of my all-time favorite swimming and cliff jumping locations in the realm. If you're in southern Switzerland, make the drive up there, and you won't regret it. So now for our final location, we are going to head to the beautiful town of Zermatt. Zermatt is famous for the Matterhorn Mountain. So to get to Zermatt, you can't drive to the city itself. You have to drive nearby and then you'll take a train up because there's no cars in the city. And then you get to the town, and you'll be able to see the Matterhorn and it's just gonna blow your mind, it's so cool. You can take a bunch of gondolas up to the Matterhorn or other surrounding locations. I was being a cheapskate and didn't want to spend 60 to 100 dollars to get to the matterhorn i do regret that so if you are going i would recommend you do it um, or get a swiss pass and you'll be able to get discounts on the gondolas what i did is i found a little walking path that allowed me to see the matterhorn and get beautiful drone shots and also i did some like flips and twists and, and splits in the area they also have mcdonald's there so definitely recommend going there you have to see the matterhorn at least once in your life but that is it for my top 10 Switzerland video, if you like. Oh, that was some good vibe right there, man. Wow. I got me daydreaming. See, places like that have these names that makes you... When I was a kid, I'd hear all these names like Zurich and, and Geneva and all these like strange names, you know what I mean? I used to sit there and daydream. I used to go sit on the beach and just close my eyes and daydream of all these strange places, you know. These places with strange names because you know the earth isn't a strange place. It's, you know, it's a beautiful place, right? That's not what I say. But uh, I used to daydream about that all the time. Man. This was downright beautiful. Listen, man, thank you all for watching this with me and thing. Hope you guys are having a great day out there, all right? And I hope you all taking care of yourself, taking care of each other. Cool runnings. <laughs>